Good morning students. Today we will study about our chapter number first understanding environment. In our last video we have already discussed about environment, physical or natural environment, components of physical environment, lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and ecosystem and its impact on the environment and importance of ecosystem in human life. Now today we will study about natural environment, human environment and etc. First is why natural environment important? All of us should explore and study about the natural environment for the following reasons. It helps us to understand the diversity, natural and machinism of pressure of various forces on the earth. We can understand the impact of men's activity on environment. The origin and distribution of surface features of land can be studied only when we have a total view of environment. When we study only a certain part of the earth, we can establish the relationship only when we have a new of the totally of the environment. Since we live only one the surface of the earth. The study of the atmosphere and ocean becomes essential because of their interactive and independent nature. Now we, now we take our next topic interrelationship between man and environment. All living organisms depends on their surrounding for fulfillment of their needs. Man and environment are interlinked in such a manner that change in one efforts to other. The interdependence of plants and animals can be expanded by the following points. Plants provide fresh air to breathe. Through the photosynthesis, plants provide oxygen which is necessary for the several of all living organisms. Plants give out oxygen, O2 and take in carbon dioxide, CO2 and animals give out CO2 and take in C2, O2. Plants provide food for animals. Plants are eaten by animals as foods. Forests provide shelter to wildlife. Forests are the national habits of wildlife animals. While the woods of tree are used by humans for various purposes like building, house, boats, furniture and etc. Plants also provide us many useful items like timber, medicine, rubber and shelter. Animals provide duck for growth of plants. Animals help plant to produce by helping the pollination of seed. Animals provide nutrition for soil. Nitrogen is essential for the survival and growth of plants. Our next topic is social and cultural environment. Social and cultural environment. It is a part of the human environment. It is the sum of all learned behavior that influence how a person thinks and behaves. This includes the family, community, rural and urban surroundings, countries, religions and economic activities etc. 
social cultural environment is linked with our natural environment for example people living in coastal areas of kerala we be will be different from the people living in the plains of punjab with the help of the given picture one can be see how the two states punjab and kerala are different in terms of their physical and social cultural environment the dress food festivals and house types all are influenced by their natural environment as a result of their interaction with the natural environment their human environment also gets changed now we talk about human environment human environment with the passage of time our society has developed so he mains needs to fulfill his needs man has hardly sleep created out these activities without consider its impact on the environment activities like cutting of forest pollution agriculture transport meaning and many more have observably affected our weather and conditions large agricultural land has been covered to commercial areas residences and industries roads are overcrowded with traffic smoke and dust air pollution and noise pollution and the list is endless the polar caps are melting and many plants and animals have gone population from countries and pollution from vehicles can causes of acid rain we observe world environment day every year on 5th june not only all plants animals and human beings are dependent on their environment but they are also interdependent upon each other in several ways now we talk about environmental pollution and how can environment be protected environmental pollution pollution is a unwanted harmful change in the natural balance of the environment the waste and chemicals from come out from industries it harmful for our environment there are two types of pollution natural pollution and man made pollution how can environment be protected we can protect our environment in two ways first by using the natural resources very carefully secondly by preserving the natural resources as much as possible there are many resources like fossils fuels such as natural gas and petroleum which are not renewable easily it takes millions of year by nature and to generate these resources for us hence we must not use these resources over wise nothing we leave for the generations coming likewise there are forest and wild animals which is used can be restored it again these renewable resources must be represent by planting more and more trees and product animals living in centuries students today we have studied about interrelationship between man and environment 
ह्यूमन इन्वायरमेंट सोशल एंड कल्चरल इन्वायरमेंट इन्वायरमेंटल पॉल्यूशन एंड हाउ कैन इन्वायरमेंटल बी प्रोटेक्टेड थैंक यू